Talk to us on Instagram on ABC7LA. Swipe for more, tap for new, and let us hear you with the hashtag ABC7Eyewitness. Your news at ABC7LA on Instagram. While the war in Ukraine continues, a unique summer camp is happening here in the Southland. Yeah, Camp Gesher is providing young refugees from the war-torn nation a retreat from the devastation of home. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell has the story. Inside of my soul, I, I'm not feeling like so great, and that's understandable. Uh, it's already more than five months what's happening in my country, it's, and we, I don't see the end. Yakiv Baron and his family escaped their home in Ukraine following the Russian invasion. After a long journey, they made it to the United States to stay with family, but it hasn't been easy. This week, Baron will serve as a counselor at Camp Gesher, the only camp in North America for Russian-speaking Jews, located in the Angeles National Forest. And because of the ongoing war, the camp will welcome 29 Ukrainian refugees ages 8 to 17, including Baron's younger sister. I want to make everything to make her happy because she's having not really good times right now. She's really worrying about the situation. These 12 days would help her, you know, just to get a bit in a different situation. So it, it, definitely uh, she will make her like mental health better. Russian speaking mental health professionals because we know these kids have been through trauma. They've been through things that are unthinkable and what they've experienced and not only just being there during the beginnings of the war but, but sometimes for them to get to the United States that was traumatic experience itself and now they're here away from their homes. The camp operated by the Shalom Institute will host the Ukrainian refugees for free thanks to donations from the United Federation of Greater Los Angeles and the Genesis Philanthropy Group. For 12 days these kids who have been through so much will be able to just have fun. Archery to water slides to swimming to animal education, play sports. We have different like competition games and a lot of different types of educational programs, um, music, dance, drama. To get away from the tragedy, to get away from the war, get away from violence, and also to give their parents, their mothers especially, uh, a week or so of respite so that they don't only have, they know that their, their child is gonna be fed, housed, taken care of uh, mentally, spiritually. This is not the first year for the camp, but the first time they're hosting Ukrainian refugees. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit campgesher.org. Josh Haskell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Oh,